So right now I'm going in the Ox store, right? And the black brother's like, yo, pass him the money for me because he's in a wheelchair, right? But he's trying to buy a glass stem so he can smoke crack, right? Let me fix this for you. So I said, what you want, bro? Like, what I look like to you, homie? You... And he's like, bro, I'm in a wheelchair and I can't get it from him. So, you know, I don't like to diss dudes, especially you in a wheelchair and all that, bro. But I'm like, yo, I'm going to do it for you, homie. But don't be trying to have me. He's like, nah, bro, I just asked you because you seem like a cool dude. Nah, you think I'm, I seem street to you and I'll do it. But you putting me to do little misdemeanor moves, you heard? Like, yo, I don't even go buy a crack stem for me, nigga. <laughs> like, you crazy? Like, I'm not even smoking crack. So that was an awkward feeling. I ain't even gonna lie, but I didn't want to leave the brother out there. I know what it is to be in that situation and need something, bro, whether it's drugs or whatever, just because I haven't done it in years or fucked around in the street, hard body, I'm still outside times 10. But we're not doing crack. We selling it. <laughs> nah, just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, bro. I felt bad for him. What you would've did? You would've got it for him? Nah, you would've left him. Like, nigga, I ain't doing that for you. I don't care you in a wheelchair, right? Did I do the right thing? I bought a stem for the dude in the wheelchair, bro. They sell those shits like legally in the stores now in New York like nothing. <laughs> but I don't know, you tell me. I didn't want to leave the brother out there, bro. I felt bad. He's going through something. A lot of people are out here, look. But a lot.